she took a microscope, which I think is amazing. She took a microscope and she looked at the lipsticks under a microscope and she saw the mold. She saw the fungus. She saw the hairs. She saw everything that was not supposed to be in a lipstick on the lipstick. Okay. And the girl turned around and put the lipsticks on her lips. Trypophobia. Welcome to my channel, Mother Suckers. I am Eloho, your favorite unicorn. Already know you are on the litest side of YouTube. Period, poo. This is your first time seeing me on your screen. Hey, girl. Hey, where you been? We've been waiting for you. I know I'm always coming through with the looks, the facts, and the tea. Okay, today she's giving you beer face and gloss because we're going to be talking about lips. Now, although I kind of shifted my content into uh, pro-blackness and just talking about everyday issues. I first got on here as a beauty influencer and a makeup artist. So I am subscribed to a lot of beauty influencers. Now, I really hope this dies down and gets rectified soon because my skin can't take it. Skin can't take it. My nerves can't take it. My brain, like every time I see one of these lipsticks, I just start spiraling downward. <laughs> so if you don't know what I'm talking about already from my tripophobia, as well as the title, I'm talking about Jaclyn Hill's lipstick launch. Now I've been a fan of Jaclyn Hill since like back, back, back in the day. And she had like the really deep, dark, um, burgundy-ish hair color. Now, over the recent years, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't that really into her. And I, didn't, I don't know, I didn't feel that rawness that I used to feel with her. As well as I just really wasn't that into, um, you know, watching makeup tutorials. But I would always see her pop up and it was, it was never really good news. It was always about a product and, you know, products that weren't good. And, you know, she collabed with someone and they had to recall the product. So she kind of started developing this name attached to her where people didn't really trust her people didn't trust her people didn't trust her collabs and the tea was just constantly piping hot okay Jaclyn Hill has millions of subscribers and she's been promising her subscribers a product launch for some years um even dating back to 2015 she's been promising a makeup line and her subscribers were really holding her to that and excitingly waiting for her to launch these products now she is someone who is very hard on herself she even said it in one of her videos she said you know it took me years to launch this because I just wanted it to be perfect I wanted it to be perfect. She's a perfectionist. I can respect that. Like, if you want to take your time, take your time because you want to put out the best product possible. Now, what really is surprising to me is that someone who is so passionate, like I do believe she's really passionate about this, someone who is so passionate about this, someone who has a lot of money, I mean, not counting her coins, but sis, you, you caking, okay? You have a lot of money, you're really passionate. And you've been developing this brand for years. People were underwhelmed because it's like, okay, we waited so long for this and now all you came out with was lipsticks. Like people wanted the full shebang, like Fenty, you know what I mean? Concealers, people wanted lips, honey. The girls wanted lashes and everything. The girls want a full beat, okay, Jack? But Jack said, you know what? I'm gonna give y'all lipsticks and I'm here for it. I don't care. I wasn't really checking for it. I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't underwhelmed that she came out with lipsticks. I was like, that's dope. Like that's a first step, especially as someone who wants to come out with products and things like that myself. Like. That's a first step. Trust me, it's very hard sometimes to just take that first step and put yourself out there, put your name on something and say, hey guys, do you like it? Do you love it? Do you want to support it? You know what I mean? It, 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 it is hard. It is hard mentally. It is. The passion is there. The coins are there. You know, the resources are there. And the product is trash i've seen a few drama channel videos and you know i've done my own research and looking on twitter and seeing some receipts and it's really at this point it's actually dangerous <laughs> like i've seen pictures of people with what looks like boils on their lips You know, giving me very STDTs, you know, and she's pretty much just handed them all the tea that they're going to need for the rest of the month. 
baby girl. Let's just actually talk about the product. Number one, I did not buy the product. I'm more of a lip liner, lip stain, lip gloss kind of girl. I'm not really uh, I'm not really into like traditional lipsticks anymore. However, I'm a hoarder. Okay, I keep things for years. If I love something, I'm gonna keep it. Even if I don't love it anymore, it looks cute on my vanity, I'm gonna keep it. I still have lipsticks on my vanity that I had since 2016. And I can honestly tell you, I've never seen any of, like what I've seen going on with her lipsticks, I've never seen that on any of my lipsticks. <laughs> Can you imagine putting mold, fungus, and expired product onto your face? And everything that we put onto our face, you guys, whatever you put into your skin, it does seep into your bloodstream, okay? So you're putting mold in your bloodstream. You're eating mold. So after I recorded this video, I actually found these receipts of people talking about having stomach pains after using the lipsticks. It's above me at this point. Like, I'm really appalled. But this is exactly what I meant when I said, you guys are eating fungus. Really, this is, this is not a fungus that you want in your bloodstream, period. So now to be honest with y'all, now I'm just like observing all of my lipsticks just to see like this situation is just gonna make us really cautious. Just automatically trust it, right? And be like, oh, I got a new lipstick. Uh. Now it's like, uh, girl, hold on, hold on. Different strokes for different folks, right? However, I've been seeing some influencers, like I saw this one girl in particular okay she took a microscope which i think is amazing she took a microscope and she looked at the lipsticks under a microscope and she saw the mold she saw the fungus she saw the hairs she saw everything that was not supposed to be in a lipstick on the lipstick okay the girl turned around and put the lipsticks on her lips you just looked at the lipstick under a microscope found a whole bunch of living organisms on that motherfucker and put the shit on your lips. Girl, I had to click out. I almost hit the thumbs down behind that, but I don't be hitting thumbs down on people's videos. I just, I just, I just be out. People are literally out here reporting Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics to the FDA. Some of y'all still putting it on your lips after knowing all of this. Like if you didn't know, that's fine. But after knowing all of this, some of y'all are still putting this shit on your lips. Now, Patrick Starr is an amazing influencer and makeup artist. I absolutely love. Honey, he got his PR package and he also experienced holes, right? He saw the holes, the hairs, the fuzz. Alyssa Ashley is another amazing makeup artist that I've been following for years. She spoke about this. She also gave a solution of different nudes that you can wear. And Twitter has just really been calling for all influencers. <laughs> You know Twitter, girl. Okay, Twitter wants all the beauty girls and boys talking about this. You know, the same way y'all tell us, you know, you love this or you don't like that or you love this or you don't like that. Give us a tea on these lipsticks with these holes. I don't even like saying the word holes. Ugh. I don't know if I'm more surprised by the fact that these lipsticks have fungus or that there are people putting these lipsticks on after knowing they have fungus. I don't know what I hate more, but it's all trash. Well, hopefully she can start over, start fresh. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't really, I, I don't have any advice really. I would just say like, really start over, start fresh. Don't wait too long as the products can change over time. Products can oxidize, products do spoil. So when you do wait too long with certain formulas, you know, you're going to get what you're going to get. But again, I don't understand because I have lipstick. Like I have lipsticks on my vanity that I've had for three, four years and I can still throw it on and I'm good. I do feel really bad for the customers out there. You know, you were excited about your products and you didn't know that the products had like glass or holes or fuzz or mold or hairs. So I do feel bad for those people. But influencers that are making videos and know what's under those, what's on those lipsticks and still putting them on their lips. I don't feel bad for you. Like, I don't feel bad for whatever happens to your lips. 
I don't care. Don't make a video about my lips fungified. Well, yeah, you know what's fungus on it and you still put it on your mouth. Anywho, <laughs> I'm done with this tripophobic mess. Did you purchase the lipsticks? Did you experience this with the lipstick? Y'all let me and pick a corn know what y'all think down in the comment section and I'll see you at the next one. Bye.